back at it again and we've got one here with kevin mccarthy yes i know i know kevin mccarthy has definitely disappointed me but he's also you know had some moments where you know i'm just like hmm he's actually saying and doing the right thing here anyway we've got a clip with kevin mccarthy but before we hop into that make sure you guys hit that like button and if you're not subscribed to the channel already hit that subscribe button down below and join the family also do me a favor and go to DocRichClothing.com and go and check out my wonderful merch if you would like to support me in this channel. Or you can send a donation via a super thanks. Um, that is the only way to donate to me. Not anywhere else. Okay? That is it. Last thing before we hop into the clip. Question of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Question of the day. Are there any gray areas on any issues between Democrats and Republicans? Do you, do you see any gray areas on any of these issues? For example, Second Amendment, right? Most Republicans are completely for the Second Amendment and exactly what it says, shall not be infringed, right? Obviously, we know on the other side of the political aisle, it's a bit of a different story. Do you see any gray area in, you know, something like the Second Amendment or any other issues, obviously, uh, between the two parties where you're like, mm, you know, most Republicans are 100 percent here, but I'd be willing to go 90, 10. You know, I get 90 percent of what I want and we give Democrats a little 10 percent because I understand where they're coming from. Are there any issues where there's any like gray area? Um between Democrats and Republicans that you can think of, let me know. Talk to me. And with that being said, let's dive in. Can we talk a little bit about the Hunter Biden plea deal and your reaction? So my first reaction is it continues to show the two-tier system in America. If you are the president's leading political opponent, the DOJ tries to literally put you in jail and give you prison time. If you are the president's son, you get a sweetheart deal. Now this does nothing to our investigation. It actually should enhance our investigation because the DOJ should not be able to withhold any information now saying that because of pending investigation, they should be able to provide Chairman Comer with any information that he requires. But Mr. Speaker, this is a Trump appointed U.S. attorney that was held over into this administration. Why won't you accept it's done. a thorough investigation and to just accept it on its merits, given the person who investigated it? It was a thorough investigation? So, so, why so you, I'm no, asking you. But I'm asking you. So you believe it's a thorough investigation? I'm asking you. Do you think it's equal and fair that a political opponent is going to be given jail time, but a presidential son, and if you compare this to other individuals in America that have these same... Um, accusations against them, the same crimes that they had been guilty of, that they were proposed to have 10 years and other time period. I think that's a difference in justice. Speaker what about you? I believe uh, the rapper Kodak Black uh, was put in jail for something similar to what Hunter Biden was accused of. If I remember correctly, uh, <clears throat> if anybody knows the facts, uh, let us all know in the comment section, but I, I believe that was the case and if you if you don't know who Kodak Black is He's a famous hip-hop rapper that uh, Like I said, I believe Now forgive me if I'm wrong. So don't hit me with no information. I think uh, Was put in jail for what I think Hunter Biden was accused of in terms of the weapons and He uh, Kodak Black was one of the people that Trump actually pardoned and you know he got out of jail off of off of the off of those charges. So yeah, there's possibly one example of unequal justice. You get a slap on the wrist, allegedly, allegedly, if you're the president's son, and if you're, you know, a rapper, Kodak in the in this case Kodak Black, you get thrown in the slammer. What do y'all think? Let me know. Trump attorney, attorney. What about the fact that it's a Trump attorney? Speaker McCarthy, uh, you said this has no impact on the investigations from House Republicans. So what can the American people expect from Republicans going forward? Continue to follow whatever information um, leads us to. We've watched time and again. I mean, remember what we have found so far, that the president's family builds nothing, owns no offices, but we found out 
lo and behold, even though the, the FBI tried to hold from us, that in a 1023 form, the people have said that they had to pay the president's family money for favors. We now found later, by suspicious activities through banks, how many American families have ever had that happen to them, but there's hundreds of them, that money has come from foreign entities into shell companies, moved to other shell companies by the president, and paid members of his family all the way down to grandchildren as well. How many families in America have that, where you literally build nothing, you make no product, you have no offices, but you make millions of dollars from foreign entities, and they pay every almost numerous members in your family through shell companies. The minute the money comes in, moves to another shell company, which moves to the payment of the family. That raises questions that I think has to be answered. And that's where yeah. the investigation continues to lie, to look into these where the president said he had nothing to do with, but we've had other accusations and information that continues to unfold. We've heard a lot about two-tiered systems of justice. Is it only equal application if Hunter Biden or President Biden is indicted as well? I mean, the charges are different. The circumstances are different. Well, okay, that's a very good question because the question is, is, is it equal justice? So you have one leading opponent of the current president that is now indicted is supposed to do jail time. You have a president's son that the investigation went on for a very long time. Um, that now has to do no jail time, but you have the, can I finish the yeah. answer to your question? But now you have a sitting president that's in charge of the DOJ that has the same accusations against his political opponent where he has classified documents, but his is even worse because it goes all the way back when he was a senator. Now, none of you have ever asked me this question. As a member of Congress and a member of the Gang of Eight, can I ever remove classified documents from the skiff? The answer is no. But why is the sitting president today have classified documents all the way back to when he was a senator? And if he's been in office this long, why that's that's one of the things that I've wondered. He wasn't even allowed, from my understanding, to take the documents in the first place. And pe people people I've heard people say, well, you know, it's 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 different between Trump and, and, and Joe because Joe gave him back. Joe shouldn't have took them in the first place. He had no right to take them in the first place. Forget about giving them back. Why did he take them? Why did he have them? From my understanding. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm a complete idiot on the laws. But, I mean, you just heard Kevin McCarthy there say those were from when Joe was a senator, not in the White House. So, he's had those for a while for one, and as far as my knowledge goes, you're not allowed to take those. So I'm just, I'm just confused how people keep running back to, oh, well, he gave him back, but they skip over, he shouldn't have had him in the first place. Like he legitimately, from my understanding, had no right to have them. I, I, I'm just confused by that, but you know, hey, y'all talk to me, how, what do y'all think? Now, none of you have ever asked me this question. As a member of Congress and a member of the Gang of Eight, can I ever remove classified documents from the skiff? The answer is no. But why is the sitting president today have classified documents all the way back to when he was a senator? And if he's been in office this long, why hasn't that investigation ended up? How are you so fast to do an investigation of former President Trump, even though you're talking about presidential records that doesn't have a criminal's uh, uh, statute to it and doesn't have a timeline when the papers come back but you have a sitting president today that now has a son that gets a sweetheart deal that now the president today his political top political opponent is indicted and has potential jail time and you have the same problem yourself but there's no no movement on that so i think that to all americans seems as though it's a two system and that's what's wrong when you look out this window and you see the supreme court you see Lady Justice there. She's holding a scale, right? But also she has a blindfold on. So it shouldn't matter where you wait, whether you're a political opponent or not, it should be equal justice. And I think too many Americans out there, regardless of where you stand on this issue, of whether you're a Republican, Democrat, Independent, Green Party, you want an equal justice, and it just doesn't seem... Speaker McCarthy, Speaker McCarthy. Facts. Lady Justice doesn't see political affiliation. Should matter. But unfortunately... Um, you know, and I personally feel like Democrats have led us to this place 
um, in history, <clears throat> which obviously is a very dangerous place. Even still, when Uncle Trump takes office in 24, it will still be a very dangerous place because of the way that the Democrats left it. And it's it's going to take some some really hard work to correct things. And I, I legitimately, if I got elected president in 24, I, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. There's, there's so many things that need to be fixed, including the justice system and the perceived political bias within it. Um, so I guess I'll, I'll, I'll pose another question to you guys. How do we take out the perceived political bias in the justice system? What is a surefire way to do that? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know. Um, I mean, off the top of my head, I, I would say, hey, if, you know, for example, Hunter Biden gets something for gets this kind of deal for doing something, then the next person or somebody else that does it gets the same situation it's the same deal but then again you can run into a situation where you know they, they 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 trump up the charges right they they add extra stuff and then they're like well these aren't the same as hunters so we gave them more time or you know what you know I, I don't know i don't know i'm just man 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 that is going to be a task and a half for uncle trump to um figure out and get handled because there's a lot i mean you got the political uh, or, or or the justice system excuse me and you got the schooling system on top of that that you know that that we touched on. i actually touched on that uh just yesterday just yesterday and you got foreign relations you you you've got the economy <laughs> right i mean this whole thing is just on the brink and like listen if there's anybody that can do it, I know that it's Uncle Trump. So if he gets in office, when he gets in office, I'm sure it will get done. But it's going to be rocky. It's going to be H-E double hockey sticks. That's that's for sure. That is for sure. Because I'm, I'm, I'm sure Democrats are not going to want to see things go back to even playing field level. You know, in terms of the alleged, you know, political bias going on. They're not going to want to see that. Because their policies don't stand up to scrutiny. And that's one of the things that I think um, we should implement when Uncle Trump gets into office are nationally televised debates about all topics. No topic is off the table. No topic is, you know, untouchable. Let's debate about all topics from both parties. And may the best man or woman win. I would love to see that kind of stuff. I would love to see it. Would love to see it. Personally, in my humble opinion. I also think we need to take out the 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 lobbying side of things, you know, where big corporations, you know, throw allegedly throw money at, you know, senators and, and, and people in government to get them to do certain things, allegedly, allegedly, of course. I think that's one of the things that needs to be corrected as well, in my humble opinion. Um, no more no, no more of that, but then it's just like, well, how do you get ads and that sort of thing? Then I think it becomes, hey, you got you to get, get out there and get some donations, and those donations need to be vetted. That's another thing. Or another way that I think we can fix this whole thing. No more lobbying. No more money from big big businesses and corporations. You have to go out there and get the donations if you want ads. Go out there and get the donations. That's just my humble opinion. But what do y'all think? I'm sure there's something I'm missing in all of that. I'm sure that's not, you know, a bulletproof plan. I know that was just off the top of my head, which is which is why I'm not president. <laughs> not yet, at least. Not yet. I'm out.